if you really want to improve your manifestations and experience more happiness in life and understand really why you are experiencing certain challenges, it is imperative that you understand what limiting beliefs are because you are the creator of your own reality. Today, I'm going to talk about limiting beliefs, what exactly they are and how they are affecting each and every area of your life. So there are positive belief systems and there are also negative belief systems. People have both, including you and me. I'm Mamita. I also invite you to join my Facebook community where I describe these beliefs. I talk about parallel realities. I also post excerpts of my previous channeling. If you're not on Facebook, you can also join my newsletter. The links to the Facebook community and the newsletter is given in the description. Coming back to today's topic, what are limiting beliefs? A limiting belief is a negative self-definition, meaning you define yourself as who you are using these belief systems. Challenging ones, the ones that makes you cry, are created by the limiting beliefs. So if you are triggered very often by people or circumstances, you are experiencing a lot of unhappiness or you are experiencing adversities or certain challenges or you have repeatedly, especially in a negative patterns in your life, then chances are high you have limiting beliefs. Now, there is nothing wrong in having a limiting belief. I haven't met a single person who does not have a, bit, uh, a negative belief system. Most people are not aware of it and they think that, oh, maybe there is something wrong with them if they have a negative belief, but it's not true. Everybody has that and the source, the origin of beliefs is not always the same for everyone. Most limiting beliefs come from childhood trauma before the age of seven whereas some can also be passed down by your ancestors as well as your past lives. So this is described in great detail in Dr. James Matt's book, Mental and Emotional Release. There is another book by Mark Wallin, It Didn't Start With You, where he explains the ancestral lineage of trauma being passed on genetically. So it is important that you understand where in your life you feel stuck and why because if we are not able to acknowledge what the problem is then we'll not be able to solve it a negative definition of yourself impacts the way how you see the world it impacts the way what your perspective is about the world because what you think about yourself is how you think about others and what you believe about yourself to be true is how you will see the world. You cannot recognize something outside of you which you already don't contain inside. This is something Archangel Michael had mentioned in his transmission, Shadows of Humanity, where he explained how we project our own positive qualities or negative qualities on the outside world. No event is a positive event or a negative event. It is how we view it. So if I take this example, where say, for example, you got fired from your job, some people will be actually very relieved. They would feel like, oh, I was never able to leave the job on my own. And it's good because now I can start something on my own, which I had been postponing for so long. So for them, it can come as a blessing, as a relief. So that is an influence of a positive belief, a positive perspective on a neutral situation. Whereas if you have limiting beliefs, it will feel horrible. You will feel like you're not good enough or maybe there is something wrong with you. And a lot of people are going through this in the last two years because of the recession and so many jobs being cut down. So an event is inherently neutral. It is our belief system which gives meaning to these events. So when you are using your positive belief systems, then you are seeing things positively. When you are having limiting belief systems, then you will be seeing things negatively. You will give a negative interpretation. And depending on that interpretation, your experience will change. So if you are happy most often of the time, then chances are high you have more positive beliefs as compared to the negative ones. If you are miserable most of the time, then chances are high that you have more negative beliefs and negative emotions than the positive ones. because that is how you are interpreting the world. This is directly influenced by your belief system. So coming back to what 
limiting beliefs are they are four thoughts about yourself a definition about yourself that also creates corresponding thoughts and emotions so for example if you have a positive belief like i'm a good person then it's going to create positive emotions or if you have a limiting belief like i'm not good enough then any experience will make you feel exactly like that even if the experience is inherently neutral it will be very hard for you to see the positive in that and it is so on the automatic these belief systems are in the unconscious level they are not in the conscious level so this is happening at the background so one of the biggest impact of limiting beliefs are they stop you from being your true self and they stop you from making important decisions in your life if you consider two people say both people want to pursue their life purpose a person who releases their negative beliefs around their life purpose will start living it almost instantaneously or at least in a few weeks whereas a person who is not living up uh, who has not released their negative beliefs will be procrastinating or be too afraid to pursue it because they will be like oh who's going to pay the bills so limiting beliefs create these kinds of negative thoughts that stop you from pursuing what brings you joy and allow you to be more of yourself your happy self because it creates those fear based beliefs that holds you back so that is the reason am- amongst all the other reasons why finding and releasing them is extremely important because that completely changes your life Like if I have to share my story, I had been wanting to find and follow my purpose since four or five years back. It was only when I released my limiting beliefs and had a break career breakthrough session with my coach, I think which was in the end of twenty twenty two, is when I immediately felt the call that now I am ready to start following my purpose and actually make a living from it. so this decision that i had been postponing for 5 years instantly was realized when i released these beliefs so that is how critical belief systems are when it comes to creating your reality so limiting beliefs have this tendency of distorting the reality and you will not be seeing things for what they are it it changes the meaning for you there is a difference between a negative thought and a four limiting beliefs one belief can create many negative thoughts like 100 200 so it may feel like you have tons of limiting beliefs when you actually have a few which are creating a lot of negative thoughts so how do you differentiate a negative thought from a belief system now it is tricky to identify limiting beliefs because they can hide in plain sight So as I said before limiting belief is a negative definition of yourself say for example if you truly believe that you are rotten like this example given here so some examples of negative thoughts it can generate is life is hard everything is difficult life is hard everything is difficult could come from the fact that oh i am rotten that's why everything is hard for me so this core thought this core belief is creating inferences from it and it affects different areas of your life that's why limiting beliefs are also known as sponsoring thoughts so it sponsors many other thoughts so when so, i was doing my core limiting belief finding and releasing exercise with my coach um the core belief that i discovered was i mean my coach helped me discover was i'm not sure that was my core limiting belief and when we were trying to get to the core belief the other smaller beliefs the smaller negative beliefs that came up where i don't know who i am i'm unhappy i'm blocked and maybe i'm a great sinner that's why i'm suffering so much maybe there is not enough for me when we are limited maybe i'm mortal and these limiting beliefs which originates from this core belief which is like the sponsoring belief for all these limiting beliefs creates negative impact in your life so for example i was getting very triggered by my family members or i was afraid to meet new or people 
I used to get hurt very easily because of these negative thoughts that would pop up. These kinds of attitudes towards life creates specific behavior. Beliefs don't simply affect your emotions or your thoughts. They also affect your behavior. That is why when you release negative beliefs, then it can also change your decisions, your behavior, your actions, your everything. Like you will not be the same person anymore, which is why finding and releasing limiting beliefs is so important. I can go on and on and on about in which ways this can affect your life. Even one limiting belief can affect multiple areas of your life because you are one person. For example, one limiting belief like I'm not good enough can affect your career where you're not able to ask for your desired salary because you feel you're not good enough, you don't deserve it. Or if you have to take, say, spirituality, say you want to learn channeling and if you believe you're not good enough, then that same belief will make you doubt yourself like, can I even channel? Maybe I'm not good enough to learn or have this capability. Only special people do. And that will create blocks in your channeling. Similarly, in health and fitness, you may not even make any attempt to improve your uh, physical health because you might believe that you don't deserve it or it's not going to happen anyway. So why bother? In your social life, you might constantly feel envy when you see somebody else succeed because you don't believe you're not good enough. So good things don't happen to you. It only happens with others. So as you can see, I've used these lines to show that one belief can affect multiple areas of your life, not just one area of your life, your behavior, your decision, what you say, how you think, everything is affected by your belief system. Say this blue line is affecting these many areas of your life so i just do some lines to show how one belief can affect so many and most people have more than one limiting beliefs imagine the entire net of impact that multiple limiting beliefs can create in your all areas of life it, it can wreak havoc and as and when i see more people spiritually awakening and wanting to live their fullest life, live their purpose. They are becoming more and more aware of these things. And it's like their higher self is bringing up these things for them to recognize and let go. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. And if you have any questions that I did not answer or cover in this video, feel free to post, post it as a comment below.